Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will try to learn another type of select box that is nothing but auto complete box. <clears throat> How to implement this auto complete box? Let's try to see it. In the previous video, we have seen about the simple select box. We have seen it. That means where the user can select the single it a single element single a single value or otherwise if you want to select he can also select the multiple values also by using the multiple attribute so that we have learned it now auto complete box so now if you are having an input text box and if you want to uh, ask the user to select a particular item from that one if you want to enter he can enter it so in those type of things so auto complete box we use the we how we can do it let's try to see it as you can provide suggested automatically completed values for form widgets using the data list element with the child option elements to specify the values to display so here if you want to display the automatically suggested thing if you want to display means we use the data list element and for this data list element the child elements are option just like the select element how it will having so for this auto complete box we will be using this data list element and in this child elements we will be having this optional and for this data list elements we need to must and should we need to give an we need to provide an id the data list is always bound to an input element for example let's say that it may be a text element uh, text input type or email input type wherever it may be so for that input element we will be giving a new attribute that is nothing but list attribute so the list attribute value will be nothing but the id of this data list element so what is the whatever the data list element we have provided the id so we need to provide it to the in the list attribute value once a data list is affiliated with the form widget its options are used to auto complete text entered by the user typically this is presented to the user as a drop down box listing possible matches for what they have typed for the input so let's try to look at the basic example of this one how we can do it here i am creating a new file data list.html and in this one i am creating html5 and let's say that we are having a form and in this form we are having a field set this one legend <clears throat> so data list items so now let's try to look at the basic element basic uh, data list thing so here we will be having a p element let's take and label element so in this one let's say that i am having a fruit so what is your favorite fruit okay let's try to add it what is your favorite fruit i am adding like this now if you try to see now we need to provide an input box input type is equal to text and the id will be fruit and the name also will be fruit so that's it so let's try to see the output now if i try to see the output of this data list element so it's very simple so you'll be having input input box where the user can type the data whatever you want the single line input data but now but the user can we need to provide the user to write the data and also you need to he we will also need to provide an option such that he can select it from the drop down so for this one first we need to provide a drop first we need to create a drop down so for this one we use the data list so data list and in this data list must and should we need to provide the id for this data list citation for this data list you will have an option okay so for this option you can have something like apple first one second one is banana and third one is blackberry fourth one is blueberry so whatever thing you want so lemon so i'm adding some couple of uh, fruits last one is let's say pay now these are the options that we are trying to provide it now this data list so whatever the options we are having for this data list it need to be binded to the input element for this data list and input for binding these two things we will provide a list attribute and this list attribute value will be the id of this data list element that's it now if you try to see the output here if i try to see here a drop down list has been appeared so that the user can select the particular fruit whatever is whatever the favorite food he, fruit he is having he can select it from the list item so this is how we will be using the 
auto auto complete box in the html file so this is the data list now let's say that <coughs> this data list item this data list uh, element may support in the modern browsers so now in the older browsers it will not support so then what i need to do so we can uh, we can also have a fallback procedure for this one let's say that so this is for newer thing i am copying the same thing here at the bottom okay let's try to uh, comment out this one now as a fallback process what i can do is so here i can use what is your layer prior fruit with fallback i am using here with fallback now you'll be having input type is equal to text and these all things you are having list is equal suggestion the same thing you'll be having so now what i can provide is so here instead of instead of having this options thing i can i can provide a label here okay so this part is equal to so i can add in such a way that <clears throat> so here we will be having something like alt fruit or anything whatever the name you want you can mention it and here or pick a fruit okay we are mentioning it like this now for this label i will be having a select box and in this one i can use id is equal to alt fruit okay so here i can use these all the things in the option now what we have did here so we are having an input box and if the data list is not supported in the older browser so inside this data list it will the select box will be supported right so this select box will be displayed as a fallback in the older browsers now if i try to open this internet explorer i am using the internet explorer 9 so if i try to refresh this one see here you'll be able to see that so nothing will be displayed here as a data list and but we are showing an option in a such a way that so what is your favorite food with fallback or pick a fruit so he can pick a fruit from the options so like this we can provide a fallback now if you want to see it in the modern browsers if you try to see it in the modern browsers so the select box will not appear here why because the the items so if the data list element is supported in the modern browsers whatever the elements that you are using inside this data list other than option every element will be omitted so other than this option so label select these are all the things will be omitted why because if the data list the browser if the modern browsers is supporting the data list so these are all the things is omitted other than the option thing whereas in the fallback browsers older browsers so this select box will be taken as the criteria why because the data list is omitted why because it, it doesn't understand this data list element so this is how we will be providing in the fallback thing okay so now let's say that uh, this data list not only for this input type is equal to text we can also apply it for a wide wide variety of range of elements also let's say that we are having an input type is equal to range let's say that we are trying to apply uh, for a range element so if you try to apply it for a range element so here i can use it something like p and here i will be having input type is equal to range I will use something like input type is equal to range and for this one let's say that I am having a data list so I will be using tick marks okay for this range if I want if I try to add a data list for this range so how it will appear so we need to check this one for this range how if I try to apply a data list let's try to apply a data list for this one okay let's try to apply a data list for this one for this one id is nothing but tick marks okay and here if you see so i am using the option and zero so i'll be having something like 10 20 30 40 and 50 let's say i am taking 50 now if you pro if you bind this data list id to this list if you try to see the output for this one so the tick marks the what do i say some vertical lines will be appeared in the range indicating the values for this one okay so for this data list it will be converted into like this so for example if i mention 100 out of this one 100 70 80 90 100 let's say if you try to see the output it will be provided in a such a way that so the user can can able to understand it so in this range thing the data list will appear as a vertical lines so for the modern browsers some more modern browsers 
it will also if you try to give the label also the label also will be applied so right now that for this browser may not apply i think so but all the browser doesn't support it so you also have a this scenario so most probably in the future the browsers it will be supported so like this we can use this data list element in a different ways for the auto complete things for the range it will appear the vertical or the uh, vertical lines for this one range and for this fallback browser also we have seen it that in the internet explorer 9 how we can use this select id in the data list so that it will fall back to the older browsers and this is for the modern browsers which we can show the auto list auto complete box instead of showing the select box so this is about the data list form control hope you understood about this data list if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you